All right, here we are, Mississippi River. I got a story to tell you guys. So I am here kayaking and uh, kind of fishing. I'm not really catching any fish because I don't know what to catch here in Minnesota on the river. I have no idea what works out here. I haven't done enough fishing out here. If this was Georgia, I'd be catching bass, but they don't have much largemouth bass out here. So I'm going to tell you guys a story, though. So I'm sitting out here kayaking, and I'm just anchored in here. I got myself tied to a rock here, and I'm casting. And just a few minutes ago, a big, big boat came by. And it slowed down right there at that curve when it saw me. And then it inched by me all the way. Till it got well past me, and then it took off. And it did that because it causes waves and it saw the kayaker sitting here. That's pretty cool. I saw an older lady that was paddle boarding up here just when I started. She was in the same rhythm I was until I stopped to cast. But uh, that's not what I want to tell you guys about. Those people are awesome. I took pictures of them and their boat and I am going to tell you guys. I waved to them and I did that so I could put them on, on my channel and say, Hey, thank you. If you guys know them... Or you recognize that boat, if anybody ever sees that, tell them how amazing they are. And then tell them this, not but 10 minutes before they came around that bend, from this side, there was some boaters sitting right, they were fishing right there, and they were inching their way towards me fishing. And they decided after they got about 50, 60 yards from me, they were going to jump leapfrog around me. And I figured they would, but... They took off, and they made a nice little fun rooster tail, and they waved at me as they went by, and I just could not believe that they did that. And of course, I tried to back up. I have a torn ACL, so if I could have, I would have just jumped out and drug my kayak up onto the rocks because I knew what was coming, but I couldn't. I tried to inch back a little bit, and by the time I tried to get back and get my hand down in the water right here so I could balance myself there was so much water coming over the front of my kayak and into the kayak I didn't know I mean I was just completely soaking wet it soaked my bag soaked all my stuff inside of my it's I mean it soaked everything my pants my knee braces wet and I I, I kind of accept that because I'm out here kayaking on the Mississippi River I can't expect every boater to just not do what they're doing so what I want to do, though, is I want to let that moment be a teaching moment. I don't want that to ruin my experience out here. I'm even soaking wet, and now I'm just going to sit here and kind of sunbathe a little bit. And uh, people watch and maybe cast, but I'm not going to let that ruin it. But I did want to document it and just say there's two types of people in the world. There's people who... Whether they mean to or not, whether it's inadvertently or not, they don't have the ability to look past and see what pain they could possibly causing others or if their actions could be negatively impacting others. I tell guys at work all the time, you need to have situational awareness in all things. Be respectful to all people and their place and their, their position and their right to be and be happy. And if I could see somebody, be the person who sees somebody with their blinker on and stop, and slows down a little bit to let them over because you know the 10 cars behind you won't. Be that type of person. The type of person that cuts the strip of grass between yours and your neighbor's house. Be that type of person. Be the type of person that slows your boat down when you see a kayaker here. And I'm a kayaker. There was an older lady paddle boarding through here just a minute ago. If those waves would have hit her, she'd have been in the water for sure. And it's the Mississippi River. It's not a lake. It's going to move. It's dangerous. So if you are a boater anywhere, if you're anybody, just be respectful of others in their space. And if you are respectful of others in their space and you notice somebody like that, give recognition. I took pictures of that place and I waved and I told them thank you, but I don't think they understood what I was saying. So I'm going to just post it on my YouTube channel and see if I can get the word out to them. I'll post a picture in the comments just so you guys can see the boat and the people. But 
thank you to whoever that was for not making me empty my kayak out for a second time in half hour and letting me just get back to relaxing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll keep making videos and putting them out there, man. I really think this is a good way to tell you guys, show you guys what I'm doing when I, what I talk about in my podcast. And if you're watching this and you haven't checked out my podcast, then you are a step behind. You're doing this in the wrong order. You should be checking out my podcast and my, and my website first so you can find out a little bit about me and then watching my YouTube channel. But that's okay. www.2keepwegive.com is my website and 2 keep we give is my podcast title. So I just did a recording from out here. So it's okay to just do some videos as well. Thank you guys. Love you guys. I'll see you guys later.